Hi everyone, in this video, I will show you how to extract and visualize data from the Metatray 5 platform using Python. So to start, we need to import the Metatray 5 library with import Metatray 5 as MT5. Then we will need pandas, so we import pandas as pd. And for data visualization, we'll use plotly. So we are importing plotly.graphobjects as go. Then we will need the daytime library to specify the time interval for which we want to extract the data. To connect to the training account, we type mt5.initialize and that way we will be connected to our Metatray 5 platform. And to request the data, I've chosen the symbol EURUSD and we will extract data for the daily time frame. To extract the daily OHLC data, OHLC stands for open, high, low, close, we use mt5.copyrates range. And in copyrates range, you specify the symbol, the time frame, which is already specified here, and then the start date and the end date. So here we have the date time 2021-11, which stands for 1st of January 2021. And then the end date time is 2021-10-1, which is October 1st, 2021. So let's first run initialize because I forgot to do that. Great. And let's run this as well. So this should return a list of OHLC data. So we can also see that this works as well. But this format is not very nice to work with. And I prefer using pandas data frame. So what happens if we put this OHLC into pandas data frame? So let's run this. And here we see that we have the columns and here we can see the values in a much neater format. One last thing, you can see that the time column has timestamps and to convert the timestamps to date time, we can use pandas to date time. And what you have to uh, pass here is just the time column and specify that the units are in seconds, S stands for seconds. So by doing that, if we run this, we now see that the time here is the actual date for the OHLC data. So now we have time, open, high, low, close, which we can use for a data visualization. And as already mentioned, we are using plotly graph objects as geo. So we first create a figure object. Fig is equal to go.figure. And we are using the plot library, uh, which contains uh, the OHLC function that will plot our OHLC data. Inside this, we only have to pass the time, then the open, high, low, close, and the respective columns of the data frame are here. So uh, let's run this and see what it looks like. Here we can see that uh, the plot is successful and that we have data on EuroESD daily charts. And also you might be wondering what this line means. What this line does is it basically hides a so-called range slider inside this plot. So let's, if you run this again, we'll find this range slider here. So I just wanted to show you that this range slider here can also be removed by updating the figure using range slider visible is equal to false. You can download the code by following the links in the description. For more trading with Python videos, you can check my playlist in the description and subscribe for future content. Thank you for watching.